Now, a lot of people in my peer circle get into social media because it's a fad to them. Their competition is in social media, so they need to be a social in social media. That is probably where we need to take a pause and reevaluate our goals. So what I usually like to tell my peers and when I'm discussing strategy is what do you really out of social media? Is it the reach? You want to increase the reach of your brand product services or do you just want to harvest more leads? Just like how you have been traditionally doing in TV, in print and other uh, medias, we put out advertisement, we expect leads. Is that what you are really looking forward in social media? If so, it's quite all right, but be focused and say so. The last part, if you're out there just for the brand recall, great, you're the perfect company. Now, in order to increase your brand recall, you still need to make it a focused communication in terms of what exactly do you want to reach. Do you want to have 80,000 people eyeballing your content, or is it you want only 10,000 people reacting to your content? That is what one should think about in terms of projection, what you want to do. Next part that I always advocate is have a lean, mean team who knows what they're doing in terms of content, in terms of messaging, and in terms of subject matter expertise. But the most important point that I want to communicate throughout this presentation is you must syndicate your content. By syndication, I mean you need to distribute your content, and if, it, if your content is found in multiple different arenas, in channels, online digital media, then you're very successful. Now, once you have put out your feelers and you have distributed your content, now you really need to convert that in. In order to convert, there are certain tools of trade that you already know are existing, like the analytics. The pure role of analytics in any case, like BI also, is to help you focus. It helps you focus into what your TG is really doing, how they're interacting, and take that data to crystallize your message to get as much reaction as possible pertaining to your goal. These are your key performance indicators. Moving forward, now another thing that I harp on a lot and I think it falls into deaf ears is we need to actively do something called A-B testing. A-B testing is something that shows you what is working and what is not. Maybe out of A-B testing of a website or your social media project you will end up knowing what content is really delivering for you. Maybe a video is doing the job much better than your brochure. Maybe it's just an infographic that really you need to put out instead of a three project write-out. So that is something that you need to take a call on after doing the A-B test. There is a thing called click matrix or heat signature of how your uh, audience is really reacting to your content in the social media, just like your website, you can do that in your social media portals as well. And right now, Twitter is also offering that kind of analytics for free. The last part that I want to say is swallow your pride, because this is the hardest thing to do as a content marketer. You have written a great line, you have written a great program, but your audience is not really reacting to it. So kill the program, start off, but also take the learnings. What were the curves that people were looking into? And then only build on it. So pride should not get in the way of your return on investment. That's why I keep on saying plan, project, and then reach. On the reach part, I wanted to take you through four pillars that are not only important for social media, but this is more of a digital media agenda. Before you even think about social media, what you need to make sure is your content is found. And by found, I mean it is popping up in searches. So the goal would be for the keywords and the subjects that you want to showcase yourself as the domain owner, 
you should be coming in Google top 10. You have a lot of SEO expertise available today in form of agencies and also in-house. You can supplement that with Google AdWords and PPCs, all of that to boost that search traffic for yourself. Now that you have accomplished the search part, people are finding you, you also need to take your content and share it to the maximum capacity that you want. But when you want to share it, you want it to be relevant. So whether you're using your Facebook, you're using your YouTube, you're using blogging, microblogging, all of that, it's well and good to put and engage yourself in the channels, but think of it, how are you sharing? Do not spread yourself too thin so you do not have a control. Sharing is a mechanism that is open-ended. Once you have done it, you only have control over the content so much. So think about it, how you want to go and share your content before you do it. The next part, again, my harping topic, syndication. You have created content and you have put it out, but only n number of people are going to share it because they find it interesting or it is as stake owners, they are pushing that content out. So what you also need to do is come up with your game plan. Once you put out your content, where else it is going to be distributed? Is it going to be distributed across uh, channels? You have some channel sales partners, you have your online alliances, you have other websites, you have review boards, forums, where all this content should immediately go through. You should feel it, fill it across. Now all of the search, share and syndication part is done. Your content is out there. Now you really need to harvest it back in, convert it in. My favorite topic is EDM. By EDM, I do not only mean emailers. Emailers come to my Gmail box, but I also get EDMs in my LinkedIn. When people are giving me specific content pertaining to me, Chirantan Ghosh, for what I do as my living, that is what is interesting. And we all know that when you reach out to your target audience with a relevant offer, people tend to respond. And that's what we should be doing once you have harvested all of this data, convert it in with a nice messaging that people appreciate. Nothing like I would put into a spam box. Moving forward, 